And here I am now on my day tour through Ghana, and I am enjoying my day in Cape Coast. And in all ways, I would like for the tour to be a very safely guided tour. And anyone who have any issues or any situations that are medically concerned, I only go to one place. And that's Hansu Pharmacy right here in Cape Coast. And I'm standing here with the proprietor, Sally. Hello. Hey, welcome to the show. Thank you. And as always, you have taken care of us here in Ghana for Cape Coast about 27 years. And this is one of the only few pharmacists, I think there's only two pharmacy, real pharmacists in Cape Coast, isn't it? Yeah, we actually about four. Four pharmacists, and you're the original one. Yes, you can. One of the first pharmacists to be in here in Cape Coast 27 years. So if you have any medical concerns, you have foreign prescriptions, or if you need diagnosis, we have a hospital right up the street, and Sally's practically a doctor herself because she knows much about medicine. How to prevent malaria is one of your major concerns. She has all the formulas right here, isn't it? One of the things that they, you specialize in for malaria, right off the bat, what would you recommend for malaria? combined uh, for now the malaria parasites have become resistant to the chloroquines so now we're using a combination of atemesinin amodiaquine or atemesinin and lumefantri this is what we're using now a combined mm. treatment we can't go on just a single anti-malarial pattern and even prevention is better than cure, isn't it? Yes. That's what you've taught me. Yes. So even before you get to the stage of having to take the malaria formulas, could you recommend some things that they could do as preventive so that you, when you land and you know you're going to travel, come here first, make your stop, and she'll give you the preventive medicine so you can be even safeguarded. So what would you recommend for something? Yeah, I recommend uh, those who come from the United States of America, mm -hmm. they are always using mefloquine and the brand is Larium mm -hmm. and now we've moved on to Malaron mm -hmm. which is a, com a combination of uh, paludrin and another queen mm -hmm. so we're using Larium one a week or mm -hmm. Malaron one a day mm -hmm. and some people who are allergic or get hallucinations from taking the mefloquine we recommend paludrin 100 milligram twice a day mm -hmm. Uh, and for children, we go on paludrin yes. one a day mm -hmm. after breakfast. And we also recommend to avoid exposing the skin after 4 o'clock and then not to wear dark colored things because the mosquitoes are attracted by attracted. black things. Yes, yes. And uh, to keep the environment clean, That's get right. out of stagnant water. Yes bushes yes. get out of that way. Another thing, um, there might be some people who have concerns about chemicalized medicine and they want to stay on the natural medicine. Yes. You also have herbal yeah. formulas and herbal, bitters and things. We have about four brands of herbal formula. Mm -hmm. And then we also advise them to take the simple neem tree, yes. boil it and drink it. But it's very bitter. Uh -huh. and so we advise them to take some honey in it, if they can take it. Yes. But most people don't want to go boil, strain, but so they prefer to take the already bottled That's anti right. with the mosquito on it. This uh -huh. is Nibima, uh -huh. and we have um, Malaheb. And all of these are produced right here in Ghana, yes, isn't right it? Yes, right here in Ghana. Right, yes. Uh, by my own old professor who taught me chemistry in the 60s. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, he has developed another anti-malaria, which is on the market. Sally, how and long have you been in Ghana now? I'm a Ghanaian. My father was Lebanese. He mm -hmm. died 22 years ago. Mm -hmm. My mother is from Ghana. Mm -hmm. so I was born here in Ghana, mm -hmm. educated here. But I went to Holland to do a few years, trying to do my clinical pharmacy. Wow. But I had to come back. So uh, now you're getting it from Ghana's homegrown, the best, yeah. okay? And I worked for the Ministry of Health for about 10 years before I came here. Wow. To open Honsa Pharmacy. Yes. yes. So all the way from the Minister of Health and to do your own pharmacy, she knows much about the formulas that really are most effective for you. And much about other formulas for other things as well, because over the years, we've had guests to come and they always get their treatment from here. 
So you don't have to worry. You don't have to fear. When you come to Ghana, you will be well taken care of. I see your staff is busy here. Can we get, where's the staff? Let's get some, some pictures with the staff and bring the staff around so we can have a couple questions with them. Yeah, and we have a lot of typhoid too. Yes. In, in, uh, gastrointestinal diseases. Mm -hmm. Giardiasis, typhoid, and mm -hmm. uh, other infections, bacterial infections. And we have treatment for all of them. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, now we are getting cardiovascular diseases. Mm -hmm. we, pre we talk to them about prevention, mm -hmm. to eat healthy, less fat, less pepper, less sugar to prevent diabetes. So we're now getting a lot of uh, elderly people, let me call them from 35 years, mm -hmm. getting diabetes and yes. uh, hypertension and associated cardiovascular diseases. So we, we have to. I, in particular, I'm very particular about diet yes. and exercise. Yes, that's it. So when you come to Ghana, you have no fear. You don't have to worry. You will be well taken care of. And one of the reasons I wanted to show the staff is because you have also trained quite a number yes. of young sisters yes. who have come under your wing, and you have trained them very diligently. Yes. The staff has been here for a long time, and I think they graduate after a certain time yeah. with you. Um, these are students, I take two from Wesley Girls High School, one of the top girls schools in Ghana, and Holy Child School, another top girls school. So I take those who want to do medicine or pharmacy. Because here we do a lot of clinical pharmacy and counseling. Yes. So uh, these girls come and work for a year. And I mentor them, I train them. Since they are very brilliant A students, uh, within a short time, they grasp the whole concept, why we are here, and the ethics of the profession and everything. But after a year, unfortunately, they go to the, fortunately, unfortunately, yes. they go to the university yes. to pursue their course. We have a lot of them in medicine, a lot in pharmacy. So Payin and Kakra, they are twins. They, we they have are, two twins here? Yeah, yeah. Wow. They, they are in the third year. Wow. Pharmacy. Very good. And uh, Which one is Payin and which one is Payne. Kakra? And Kakra. And they are in the KNUST. Wow, very good. Yeah. Third year. Yeah. And, and then, then people want to know um, your names. Painy and Kakra, we know, but for the camera's sake, people want to know what is the meaning of Painy and what is the meaning of Kakra. One came first, isn't it? Yeah. Painy and Kakra is a name given for twins. Every set of twins born in Ghana are either given Painy or Kakra. Painy simply meaning the first to be born and Kaka the next to follow the older one. So you were the first to be born, yeah. and you was the one who followed. Yeah. Now, did this have any significance to do with, anything to do with the pain that the mother felt, that you caused the pain and that you came out easy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, it's not pain. It's like the elderly, the one who came first. Yes, I know, older I know. From the other one. People might think that you caused the trouble. You led the way, <laughs> and then you came out very easy. <laughs> That means you, you, you will be hot and you will be warm. And are your characters, your personality that way? Are, are you the one that usually go out first and are you usually keep, keep it cool? Or you seem like it was the other way around because you came out of the office and started assisting right away and then you came out, you were already here. Okay, I would say that um, it's okay. We are both, it, there isn't much difference between our personalities. Oh, come on, she's doing all the talking. We are both outspoken <laughs> and we are both very to get around it. So. Kakra, is it true? Yes, yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> you are right here in Hansel's Pharmacy where you can see she's always busy, so I won't take up too much more of her time. All I can say is feel free when you come to Ghana, West Africa, and if you have medical concerns, look us up. Hansel Pharmacy, spelled H-O-N-S-A-L. You'll see the sign outside, and the information will roll on the screen. Have no fear. Hansel Pharmacy is here.